Alright, hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen. Now in today's video I want to discuss whether or not the 2018 iPad is still worth it, especially with Black Friday and Christmas just around the corner. Okay, so right off the bat, yes, it is still so worth it. If you are thinking of purchasing this iPad, I can promise you, you are not going to waste your money. Now I have my iPad for about three months now and I still have no regrets whatsoever on my purchase. Now I bought mine for about $360 back at that time. Now that is is already not that expensive considering the powerhouse that this thing actually is. So with that being said, let's talk about why you would want to purchase this device. And the number one reason is content consumption by far. Yes, I am aware that you can watch YouTube on your phone, you can read on your phone, you can take notes, whatever. But that is like saying, listen dude, why spend so much money on a boat when you can just swim across the ocean? It's a pointless argument. I'd even go as far as to argue that having an iPad for content consumption is even better for your physical and mental health. Alright, all right, let me explain. So one of the biggest reasons for me to buy this iPad was for reading. I love the Kindle and I thought using the iPad over my phone would be a nice upgrade. So let me tell you a little story, alright? So I had the iPad for a while and a few weeks ago I went out with friends and I wanted to read a little bit on the way to the restaurant, alright? So I opened the Kindle app and I was shocked. I almost could not read a sentence. It was so small. I've grown so accustomed to reading on the iPad and the bigger screen. And it made me mad because I realized I was putting so much strain onto my eyes by reading on such a small device for the better part of my life. So what I'm trying to say is that if you are a content consumer, which you are by the way because it's 2018 use your iPad for everything video and reading because it alleviates so much eye strain as compared to using your phone reason number two why you need this device in your life is content creation so you pair up your iPad with a little Bluetooth keyboard like this this is the Microsoft Wedge and then you have everything you need to conquer university oh and maybe also to write the next Amazon bestseller just saying. And another reason why you should buy it is because this is the last iPad, the 2018 model, that has a lightning port. Every new iPad ships with USB-C. Think of it. With that being said, this makes this iPad kind of a relic right now. Why does it feel so old all of a sudden? Anyway, alright, so let's move on to discussion number three, which is the hardware of the device. Now, the number one reason why this iPad is so popular, along with its cult following and value and critical acclaim single-handedly comes down to the hardware. The screen is gorgeous. It might not be laminated like the iPad Pro, but with a resolution of 1536 by 2048, it's hard to complain. Next up is the battery, which is probably the most impressive aspect of this entire tablet. With a capacity of more than 8.8 thousand milliamp hours, which is a three times the battery size of my S7, by the way. You can expect up to 11 hours of continuous video playback. That's a lot of time. So let's quickly take a look at the aisle. Along the bottom of the device, you'll find dual firing speakers, which Apple claims to be stereo, but it really isn't. Because in reality, when you are watching a video, all right, you are holding your iPad in landscape mode. So all the speakers are either on the left or on the right of the device. Oh, and just by the way, it's really easy to cover the speakers with your hand. So the I.O. is a big reason why this iPad is still relevant, because it has two ports that are deprecated with the new iPad Pros, that being the lightning connector and the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. In front of the device, we still have the Touch ID home button, which is really fast, by the way. Now, let's talk a bit about the internals. In summary, they are really really good the 2018 ipad uses the a10 fusion chip which is a really really good chip it's also the one found in the iphone 7 i believe and that is a really good phone combine the big battery with the a10 chip that means that this ipad is a monstrous gaming device just be careful though because with only 32 gigabytes of storage Games like Asphalt and Fortnite will get rid of all that storage very quickly. So in terms of internals, think of the 2018 iPad as an iPhone 7 that is on sale for 50% off with a way bigger screen. 
Now finishing off the internals, let's take a look at the cameras. Now I'm surprised at just how easily the iPad shoots the background out of focus. It almost does it as easily as my Galaxy S7, which is notorious for that. So when you are in proper daylight, you can expect some really, really solid photos out of this guy. I'll put up a selfie of the front facing camera, you know, it's it's not all that good. It's it's good for artistic purposes, I guess, because the the picture looks really smushy at best. It's, it's weird. <laughs> and then finally, let's wrap up the video by talking about the software. Now, to be honest, I really don't have a lot to say about the software because, you know, it runs iOS 12.1, it's elegant, it's fast, it's timeless, and it is still that minimal user interface that everybody has grown to love and understand. Just before I go, I have some apps that I can also recommend for new iPad users. If you are a musician, by iReal Pro, it's an amazing piece of software that enables you to write chord progressions and create background music. It's really good. If you are a writer, I just use the built-in notes app. It's really good. You don't need a fancy word processing application. You, you can if you want, but the notes app is good by itself. And last but not least, if you are into reading, download the Kindle app. Now, as I already said, this is one of the biggest reasons personally why I bought this iPad is because of Kindle. Now, just before I go, I want to give a huge shout out to the Kindle app. I am absolutely crazy in love with the Kindle application. Since I started reading on the iPad on the Kindle app, I really can't see myself ever going back to another application or even platform for that matter. So that's it for today's video guys. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to press the like button, thumbs up if you enjoyed, thumbs down if you didn't, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.